Lethal Zone in State of Decay 2. I'm gonna play it. It is one of my favorite games ever made, and for that reason I would really like for me to have a playthrough on my channel, for me to look back at in a few years, or for someone else to look at, for whatever reason. Um, the thing is though, I always consider myself a nightmare player at best. Um, I thought lethal was too difficult for me. and But over time, the more I came to understand the game, the more experience I got, the better I got at the combat, at controlling my character, I started figuring out some things on how to handle certain combat scenarios, um, some kind of tricks to do during combat, some ways to defeat certain enemies, uh, even map layout, uh, where resources might pop up, what missions uh, give certain rewards, um, how to prepare when you go out, uh, all these things put together has kind of resulted in me finding Nightmare too easy. Um, just the second I start the Nightmare run, I already know I'm going to win it. And even if I start from scratch with bad characters, I've done that before. Uh, and that, the game got a little bit less fun. So I tried Lethal again not too long ago, and I got absolutely decimated despite all my experience. And even though there's still, still some experience for me to get in Lethal Zone specifically, obviously, because I, I haven't really gotten used to the sound ranges that are different in Lethal or the sheer density of zombies that might pop up and uh, all things like that, I don't think that I'll ever reach a point where Lethal becomes too easy. I will always have to be on my toes, I will always need to be prepared, I will always have to play well. I am fairly certain based on what I've experienced. So I think it's more interesting for me to upload a, a playthrough where I'm playing on a difficulty that is kind of too high for me personally as a player uh, so that I can see myself struggle and try to figure out how to play it. I think that's more fun than watching myself play something like I already mastered and there's just little point in watching that back for me anyways and uh, yeah I just generally think it's more entertaining to watch me try and do this thing that's kind of too difficult for me as far as I uh, have experienced so far so in addition to playing on lethal I'll also do a little bit of self-restricting not too much though because it is lethal and it is very difficult so I'll use whatever I can whatever the game gives me in mechanics to uh, to try and succeed I really want to try and succeed but there's some stuff I want to avoid just because I think it's too cheesy but I'll go over that later so here I've already rolled for characters that I think are really good um, I will not take just any characters, the game allows me to re-roll them, so I did. I'm not going to give myself in that way. So I've got um, these characters right here that you can see. So um, going over them real quick. This first guy over here, uh, he has high pain threshold, which means more health and um, you know more uh, resistance to injuries. He's gracious, so that's a small uh, morale boost. Plus three, I think. He has cooking, so I'll be able to make some stamina items maybe later. So that's a good uh, character. This middle one here seems built for combat. He has both a stamina boost and a health boost, as well as injury severity reduction. And he has a uh, open fifth slot, so uh, with any luck I can give him hygiene or something like that. I would enjoy that on him. Um, but that's a really good character. Anytime I can get both a health boost and stamina boost, that's good. And then this last one, she is amazing. Uh, she has a small health boost and injury severity reduction, but also she has sewing, which is amazing. It is plus 10 health for everyone and plus one to all items carried, consumables anyways. Uh, and that is great. That really is good. That is one of the best 
Uh, it might be my favorite fifth skill in the game. And hygiene is a close second one. But, uh, yeah, I will go with these and start the lethal zone. Now about the self-restrictions I'll do, I will not allow myself to use any uh, DLC radio cooldowns. So that means no daybreak, um, no uh, calling in Rattalan agents who are way, way overpowered in my opinion. We gotta find another home. Just because they have all the skills in the game at once, which is ridiculous. Where the fuck was I? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I fucking love the freedom of the road. Nobody telling me what Well, this guy's already giving me his hidden trait. And my bike. Of course. So, let me listen to that. Fucking solitude. Sleeping under that big sky full of stars, you realize just how alone we all are. Alright, so what did that unlock for him? He is a motorcycle enthusiast. All right. I can't outrun that feral. Okay, feral right here. The three of us, us can easily kill him. Also, I have a blunt weapon, so it's easier. I don't want to take too much plague damage already, though. Okay, unfortunately, one of my dudes got some plague damage there, but. I don't think he got hit too much, only once, I think. So he should be fine. Uh, that is what I understood from Lethal Zone the couple times I tried it. They always spawn in a feral very close to your starting position. And Blood Ferals only pop up on Lethal Zone. Which is too bad because I kind of missed them in Nightmare. It's one of the reasons I find Nightmare too easy. Because Ferals are so, so easy to deal with. Hey, on anything lower than lethal. One headshot and you're done. Got here without a hitch. I'll get busy right away. They are very dangerous. On lethal. It looks pretty safe. I think we should claim this place and move in. Now, I am on the Providence Ridge map. It is probably my favorite map in the game. Not because I think it's the best, but... Has to be gathering materials. I just so kind of like it. It has place. some severe downsides, but I kind of enjoy those downsides. I'm not finished yet. Quite a bit. Alright, yeah, th this guy took some reasonable plague and damage here. We're done. So we Hang keep on. him home. He has an 8 slot backpack, which is nice. Either a workshop or an infirmary would be a good place to start. Recover him. And one of the reasons I like uh, Providence Ridge is the starter base is really good. Which is great. Here you go. Okay, so I think I'll play this guy first. Which means grab the 8 backpack, grab a blunt weapon, uh, the one that is least busted up. Let's go. Now I want a blunt weapon on me because I do not have a ranged weapon yet to kill Fowers with if I'm on foot. And if I can't kill ferals on foot with a ranged weapon, a blunt weapon is the best option to do it. Because it stun knocks them a little bit better. Can't do it. Excellent move. <laughs> Very good. Fuck. I'm beat. Keep me an eye on the screen here. Yeah? Okay, hold on. Grab him first. <laughs> Hello. Can I stand in the back real quick? No. There. Having some bad timing on these uh, back grabs here. But it'll happen. That's fine. I don't like that Screamer being over there. 
but could probably avoid him. Did I? I did. You're gonna be up to my ass and Zed's real soon. It's coming over now, but I'll bolt. Now, um, I know that lethal is very dangerous, but I still like to fast search because I don't really see a reason not to. I know it can make things extremely dangerous, Thank you, but Santa. I kind of like that. So I do not mind. Grabbing a fuel first. Locked. These are still so that I can use the car. Hmm, too bad I've been screamed. Oh, that's the only one here, so that's fine. Nice, I'm gonna need to drink one more little ball. Damn, struck out. Oh uh, yeah, I might not fast search if I'm in danger. If I think I won't be able to handle so I'm just being called upon me, but um, otherwise I just will. Now I can grab the car. And I will prioritize materials. I want to upgrade my infirmary to level 2 ASAP. That's the first thing I want to do. Because I want to get rid of injuries as soon as possible, as well as being able to slot two people for plague infection reduction. Uh, it's a nice bonus to that. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to recruit or list. Come on, you got some shit needs doing. So that I don't have to go home as much. Uh, let's give her a blunt weapon as well, actually. Crap, it's a plague screamer. Because I want to make some good time here. Now I know I said when I started this that lethal is a bit too hard for me. So it's pretty silly that I am taking a lot of risks, but I feel like I'll be a better player by taking risks and learning to deal with whatever happens. So that is what I'm doing. Again with the bad timing. Doesn't happen often. The ass kicking attitude. I do. I haven't heard that voice over forever. That's interesting. Yeah, Zed free zone here. All right, let's look for a weapon first. Uh, a range weapon, that is. I will grab a crossbow. And yes, I did not use any scouting towers to check the environment because I know where everything is. Things are randomly generated, but I, the game uses a certain logic to what spawns where. For example, this is a military base, so it spawns weapons and ammo and all that stuff. Nothing more to do here. Uh, light crossbow, that's a really good score. And a pistol as well. It's actually a very good pistol. I'm already set. I still want to check out some of these other sites though. Um, so yeah, the game uses a certain logic of what spawns where. And like I said, I know the maps. So I'm checking out all the sites that may have crossbows first. 
already have a crossbow, but I would like to have crossbows in multiple characters. For things like home invasion, or whenever I have to... to be scared that's fantastic I mean it's only a small morale bonus but that's a really good hidden trait to unlock usually hidden traits don't provide any real active bonuses they are either flavor or they are certain traits that might have a bonus depending on the exact circumstances or downside even but uh, it's quite rare to get one that's just an active bonus like this. So that's definitely nice. Um, let me see. Alright, let's just give everything to her. That's why she's here. Is there anything left here? Yes. It's gonna slow me down. Yeah, that's fine. So these cabins. We'll have a high chance to contain crossbows. And one more crossbows. Damn it. Now I have the best crossbow already, that is not a special crossbow, nice. Yeah, no room for that. Uh, and the light crossbow. New place to put it. Yes, that's very smart. Why don't you make some noise? I love it now. She can use this crossbow. I don't like this one because the bolts will go through enemies. So you, um, it is good because you can kill multiple enemies at once, but it's very hard to recover the crossbows, uh, the crossbow bolts that is, because they just fly off into the distance. This load's gonna wear me out. But it's good on followers because they do not use ammo. much because that's super dangerous because they are way stupid um, they will not think twice about attracting every zombie on the map if they see one close they'll just attack it which is terrible gotta keep quiet and they'll hear me for sure Right there, I would like to avoid that for now. Let's head back. Now I'm satisfied having two crossbows to start because that means I have a crossbow and my follower has a crossbow. There's a bloater nearby. So 
Now I can go for the materials. Um, I do like to run with fire on me, but not yet. It's more important to have more space at this point, at this stage of the game. Which means I'm being a bit risky, not having fire on me. But I feel like you can get away with it early in the game. Probably lots of plague zombies too. So let's go for the materials. As long as that plague heart is around, we can't really secure this place. Not bad. Gotta stay frosty. Plague zombies all over the place. I do need to start killing zombies with a crossbow to get uh, some better chances of plague zombies to drop. That's a horrible shot. Crossbows do have a better chance of making zombies drop leg samples. And I need cure ASAP. Screamer. I'm just gonna bust up the car a little bit to get that one since I don't have a good door yet. I don't want it to scream really. Just yet. Cases of chemicals, which is really nice. I need that for my infirmary. Oh, nice safe. There we go, first plague sample. So, my target right now is to get seven plague samples as soon as possible. I will kill zombies with the crossbow until I have seven plague samples. That is five for a cure for me to have in my pocket for when I need it. And two for the mission. Well, I bet they fucking heard that. That's a noise, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, the way making noise works while you search, you get a search crash like that. Is it doesn't actually out. make that much noise. Like zombies that would be over that fence would probably not even hear it from here. But it does spawn zombies. Uh, sometimes that will aggro immediately. But that's fine. Like it's usually one to three zombies that it spawns on a crash. Yeah, no room for that. And that is pretty much never dangerous unless you are at low health or drop else in an area us. where fighting zombies would attract too much more other zombies.
Which means I guess I should take back that it's never so dangerous. It is dangerous, and I will avoid fast searching for that reason at some point, but... I do not need to avoid fast searching. That's pretty heavy. Completely. Uh, let's see. I still got some more materials. So I will. See that, but too late. Nice shot. Now this is why I like. It's part of the reason why I like the light crossbow. Oh, that's a bad shot. And yours is a good shot. Well done. Um, it reloads fastest out of all the crossbows. Which is excellent, and it only weighs one pound uh, right there, which is great. And uses light bolts, which is better because you can stack more of them. And they're cheaper to make. I just so rang in the bell. That's fine. And perfectly fine shape. Damn heavy. Up. I'm just pretending like nothing happened. That is a bit anxious. I didn't want it to scream, but. Oh, no, despawned. That's a glitch. Uh, that's fine, I would have killed it anyways. I can still grab some more materials though. I can still grab some more of everything. I hear a horde, I think. It's not really a horde. That's a horrible shot. I saw that would miss and I still shot it. But you know, that stuff happens. How am I doing? I'm doing fine. 